clouds, high level, mid level and low level clouds. And that's also the position of the clouds, high level, uh, very high. You see that cloud base. And you see also if I take a low level, you say the high. And we want only use low level. So I make a preview render. And that's not a preview. That's a preview. And you see how that looking. And at first I would make more a blurry, very transparent cloud. So we change some settings. Uh, change cloud depth. And we want also change the sharpness of our clouds. Bring that down. Uh, make preview render. That is looking very good. Maybe we can change some things, for example, the cloud density. And when the preview and that's looking very well. So that's our background sky layer and we want now create more and second cloud which is more in front of ours and default change the dev a little bit to yes 200 change the cloud color also the cloud scattering color render preview and that's looking very well and we can of course also change the um, form of our clouds the shape you see we have also a cloud fractal shader and we can change the contrast and also the coverage of our sky so more coverage we see more clouds and less coverage we don't have so much on our atmosphere so I think that's looking very well and yes that's all I want to change and we go further to the lightning we can uncheck enable on our environment because it's global illumination and we turned that off on our renders we see zero 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 so we don't need environment and it won't change anything on our render so let's go to the sunlight and I have to check where's my sunlight zero 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 as rotation so bring it to zero the heating so it's now in the middle of our view and in our preview I want place our sunlight in this so bring it up a little bit by using elevation you see here our sunlight origin and let's say 30 f 34 is okay and change a little bit on heating and bring the elevation down and make a small preview in there. so a little bit less more in the middle I think it's better in a preview and that's quite good so we can also change a little bit on our color of our cloud make it a little bit more orange and you see the difference our scene gets more warm and that's very good so our scene is ready I will save that as sky yes and that's it so let's go to the render check our camera and I go through all the views so that's looking good and 80 looking good 270 looking also very good so our camera is finished our scene is finished I saved all so click on render and we have to change our full render to 600 to 600 log aspect ratio and we have an aspect ratio of 1 so that's very important for half limit advanced effects so it works better with images which have that aspect ratio so it's all right we can of course bring up the detail but I don't want for my tutorial renders so it's okay 
GI is turned off and it's all right anti-aliasing bloom and yes click on render image so save our first render as front and change our camera to 90 degree and click on render again so that's also finished click on save and we call that left click on save change our camera again to 180 degree click on render so click on save and we call that front left back that's our back view click on save and change the camera again to 270 degree and click on render so last side view also finished click on save and that's now front left right right so click on save and now we have to make two images the up view and the down view so change rotation to 90 and the rest is zero click on render so top view is ready and it's looking very well click on save and we call the top so last image negative 90 degrees so we're looking on the floor and render that of course so finished save as bottom and that's all we have to do of course we can also change a little bit more on our terrain but for our tutorial it's enough so let's look in our folder and that are the views and also our Terragain file and that's what we have to do with Terragain.